Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. Of Korea. This is Voice of Korea.
Making sure you meet a chorus, song of janitor Kim Jong-un. You're listening to VOK, Voice of Korea News Now. The first shock course of propaganda officials of the Workers' Party of Korea began at the April 25th House of Culture. It will discuss the ways to make decisive innovations in all spheres of the ideological work according to the requirements of the new stage of development and changing reality of the Korean revolution on the basis of having a deep understanding of the immortal exploits performed by the respected Kim Jong-un in the party's ideological work and analyzing and summing up the experiences and lessons in the propaganda work of the party in an all-round and substantial way. President of the short course were officials of the Organizational Department and Information and Publicity Department of the Provincial, City and County Party Committees and others performing the similar function, leading party officials of the ministries and national agencies, propaganda officials of the institutions, industrial establishments and cooperative firms, officials in the field of revolutionary relics preservation and officials of departments concerned of the party central committee. The first shock course of propaganda officials of the Workers' Party of Korea opened on March the 28th. The roster was taken by senior officials of the Organizational Leadership Department, the Information and Publicity Department, and other departments concerned of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, secretaries for propaganda work of the Provincial Party Committees, propaganda officials of the Cabinet and Ministries, and officials of the major units in the propaganda sector. When the short course was declared open, the national anthem of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea was solemnly played. 
Ri Ilhan, member of the political bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of China and secretary of the party Central Committee, courteously conveyed the important letter on smashing formalism and making a fundamental change in the party's ideological work, sent by the respected Kim Jong-un, general secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, to the participants in the first short course of propaganda officials of the Workers' Party of Korea. All the participants carefully listened to the significant matter. Li Ilhan made a report. He said, the respected Kim Jong-un always attached primary importance to strengthening the party's ideological work, clearly indicated its general tasks with its energetic ideological and theoretical activities, and gave full answers to the theoretical and practical problems arising in improving the ideological work in conformity with the demand of the era and the developing revolution. Under his energetic and meticulous guidance, a fresh change was brought about in the revolutionary relief preservation and the education in revolutionary traditions, and a new turning point made throughout the country to arm the people with the revolutionary spirit. The Agiprop work was definitely turned into the accurately targeted and focused methods of infusing the party members and other working people with the indomitable revolutionary spirit ardent patriotism and infinite creative zeal, and extraordinarily increasing their spiritual strength to make miraculous achievements in the whole of the socialist construction. It is the basic task and general goal of the party's ideological work at present to model the whole party and society on Kim Il-sungism, Kim Jong-ilism. The party propaganda officials should become the vanguard fighters in the sacred course of imbuing the whole party and society with the revolutionary idea of Kim Jong-un, the reporter stressed. Speeches were made. The short course continues. The respected Kim Jong-un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, sent the important letter on smashing formalism and making a fundamental change in the party's ideological work to the participants in the first short course of propaganda officials of the Workers' Party of Korea on March the 28th. In the letter, he said, the first plenary meeting of the 8th Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea decided to firmly guarantee the successful implementation of the new five-year plan presented at the Party Congress and make a substantial progress in the improvement of the people's living and put forward the grand program for finally solving the socialist rural question. In order to carry out the crucial tasks, which are not easy to do because of the manifold trials in the way, it is as usual to regard the ideological and spiritual strength of the popular masses as the most powerful weapon and move it in every way. The Tsuchi idea that man decides everything and there is nothing we cannot do when we stimulate the people ideologically will fully display its validity and vitality as the principle of revolutionary leadership and political philosophy of our party forever in the future too. The ideological work is the greatest of the cores of the party work for our party, invariably holding fast to the Tsuchi idea. The ideology first principle is the fundamental key to overcome the difficulties and win a new victory, and it is a unique revolutionary mode of the workers' party of Korea. The basic task of our party's ideological work is to model the whole party and society after the revolutionary ideal of the party central committee. The political and theoretical circles should be powerful to constantly deepen and develop the party's ideological work in accordance with the requirement of the revolutionary practice, he said and indicated specific orientation and ways to enhance the level and role of the political and theoretical circles. Kim Jong-un said it is an analysis of the party central committee at present that the revolutionary change in the party's ideological work should begin with smashing formalism and put forward the task to thoroughly eradicate formalism remaining in the party's ideological work.
He analyzed the forms of intensive expressions of formalism in the party's ideological work and their after effect, and stressed that it should be the strict rule and discipline of the propaganda field of the party to correctly know the important contents of the ideological education as intended and assigned by the party central committee, and do substantial ideological work in close interconnection so as to eliminate formalism remaining in the ideological work. Kim Jong-un importantly pointed out that the theoretical education is a primary work to arm all the members of the society firmly with the revolutionary idea of the party central committee. He underscored the need to make the ideological campaign intensive and precision in the struggle against the anti-socialist and non-socialist practices. He emphasized the need to launch the Egyptian offensives more fiercely so that the whole country can see with the struggle to achieve a new victory of socialism by implementing the idea and policy of the party central committee. He noted that successes of latest science and technology should be widely introduced into the Egyptian work to create new and modern means and ways. He stressed the need to have a general understanding of the deviations remaining in the propaganda sector of the party and take correct measures on the principle of raising the promptness and efficiency of the ideological offensive. Kim Jong-un said the officials in the propaganda field of the party should maximize their level and ability to meet the demands of the revolution, the desire of the times, and the expectations of the people. He stressed the need to enhance the key role of the Information and Publicity Department of the Party Central Committee in making a fundamental change in the party's ideological work. He underscored the need to establish a very powerful discipline in the propaganda field of the whole party and the habit of giving top priority to the ideological work of the party officials and actively cooperating with the work of the propaganda field. He said the Workers' Party of Korea regards it as its greatest pride and great strength to have tens of millions of faithful, steadfast, and distinguished propaganda officials. And he ardently called upon all to wage a vigorous struggle to bring earlier the new victory of Korean style socialism with the great strength of ideology, in high spirits, and with full confidence. The respected Kim Jong-un kindly sent a spread to Han Chun sik living in Tsungtandi, Hwade County, North Hamgyong Province of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, on the occasion of her centenary birthday. School uniforms, bags and shoes began to be supplied to new students just before the new school year in the DPRK. Seeing their children happy with them, the parents felt their boundless thanks to the Workers' Party of Korea with a noble love for the rising generations. Officials and workers in the field of light industry are increasing the production of consumer goods. The Pyongsong Bag Factory induces its employees to steadily increase their technical knowledge and skills and arouses their creative activity, making achievements in the production of school bags. The Songcheonggang Bag Factory is organizing a proper work to enhance the technical knowledge and skills of its employees and introducing valuable technical innovation proposals into production to ensure the quality of school bags. The officials and employees of the Gyeongsong Ceramic Factory find the main link of its development in improving the quality of the products and increase the production of smart and useful ceramics favored by people. Riders across the DPRK are striving to produce good works. The Central Committee of the Riders' Union of Korea has actively encouraged the riders to sensitively reflect the breath of the times on their works in the course of witnessing the thrilling reality at every working site. The riders conducted their creative activities in vibrant realities to complete writing wonderful literary works of diverse themes, including those depicting the noble greatness of the respected Kim Jong-un and those based on the revolutionary tradition. Riders in North Pyongan and South Hwange provinces and other areas went to major industrial establishments, construction sites and cooperative fields in the provinces and are devoting all their wisdom and enthusiasm to writing works, clearly representing the spirit of the times.
DPRK Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary Sun Dong Chul presented his credentials to the President of the Republic of Ghana on the 22nd. He courteously conveyed the greetings of Kim Jong un President of the State Affairs of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, to the Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Ador. The Ghanaian president expressed deep thanks for it and requested the ambassador to convey his heartfelt and warm greetings to His Excellency Kim Jong un president of the State Affairs of the DPRK. He hoped that the long-standing relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries would be further expanded in different fields. And that's the end of the news, read by Cha Yun Yong in Pyongyang. Now here's female cars, our comrade Kim Jong-un. Here's trumpet solo, the blue sky over my country.
high enthusiasm of young people. The Korean Revolution originated in the youth movement and its every upsurge coincided with an upsurge of the youth movement. Today, our socialist cause has set out on the road of new development under the leadership of the Workers' Party of Korea. The 8th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea held in January 2110 or 2021 was a Congress of Struggle and Progress which would be a great turning point in the overall development of Korean-style socialism. Last year, Korean young men and women rose up as one to implement the decisions of the party congress and thousands of them volunteered to work in the difficult and challenging sectors in a few months after the congress. At the 10th Congress of the Youth League held in April last year, the respected Kim Jong-un highly praised the views of the young people as heroic as going to the front line at wartime and blocking the gun muzzles of enemy pillboxes with their chests. The thick trust moved the hearts of the young people across the country and their fighting spirit and morale were raised all the more. In a few months after the Congress, more than 200,000 young people organized short brigades to attend the doors of the party and their fighting spirit made the whole country a theater of youth. August 28th, 110 or 2021, marked the significant 40th anniversary of the Youth Day, the holiday of the Korean young people. Kim Jong-un saw that celebrations of the Youth Day were grandly held and invited to Pyongyang 10,000 young people, including those who volunteered to work in the difficult and challenging sectors and exemplary Youth League officials. And he sent them a letter of congratulations and had a picture taken with them. Ri Sung Jin, vice chairman of the Moral Long District Committee of the Socialist Patriotic Youth League in Pyongyang City, thanks. The respected Kim Jong Un said, "It is the greatest pride, asset, and wealth which cannot be compared to anything that a party making a revolution has the main detachment of promising youngsters." Elated by his pride, tens of young people in our district volunteered to work in difficult and challenging sectors last year. Following their example, all the young people in the district are striving to implement the decisions of the first plenary meeting of the 8th Party Central Committee. Kim Jong Un said last year many young people volunteered to work in TikTok and labor consuming fields and grew to be those with fine virtues and traits moving the people. And it is a remarkable political success that the spirit of young people became very high. The high spirit is growing all the more this year, which enables the young people to make miracles and innovations everywhere in this country. So far, you've been listening to an account titled High Enthusiasm of Young People. This is Voice of Korea. Now you will appreciate the song Warm Feelings. Hardship is also sadness. On the road, we follow with feelings. All our hearts beat with the feelings. Oh, the warm feelings are the pledge of faith to believe and follow only Marshal Kim Jong-un. <laughs>
Here's light music, the mother party that defended my destiny.
time we present the orchestral music in the past, we travel one road forever, Kim Jong-il Christ Work Laureate. It profoundly represents the faith and will of the Korean people to vigorously advance only along the road of future revolution forever under the leadership of the Great Workers' Party of Korea.
With this, we conclude the English language service. Why is that Korea from the Democrat and People's Republic of Korea? Why is that Korea presents the English language service for Europe between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, between 21 and 22 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC, and 7,570 kilohertz and 12,015 kilohertz. For North America, between 15 and 16 hours UTC, and between 14 and 14 hours UTC, or 9,000 435 kilohertz and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC and between 6 and 7 hours UTC on 7,220 kilohertz, 9,445 kilohertz and 9,730 kilohertz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang. Thank <laughs> you.